major areas of, of, of focus are both uh, domestic financial services, where we most probably finance about one-third of Mauritian households, and then we are also the largest management company in Mauritius um, with, uh, you know, in excess of, of, of 3,000 clients from across the globe, uh, as well as having um, other um, activities in, in Forex and, and related act, uh, areas such as uh, sell captive insurance, etc. Now talk us through the mechanics and the rationale behind your listing this morning. The rationale was quite simply one that the two majority shareholders within the, the Rogers group of companies I think had reached a, a point where they wished to pursue slightly differing um, investment philosophies. And when SIM was formed in, in 2005, the intention was always to be able to, to grow a company that was strong enough um, to be able to float on the, the stock exchange Mauritius at a later stage. Uh, and effectively what we have ended up with after negotiations is that the one set of shareholders have maintained their interest uh, in, the, in Rogers and its, its um, subsidiaries, whilst uh, the other set of shareholders uh, will be moving off with SIM and its subsidiaries. What kind of uh, investors are you looking to attract with this listing? And naturally, um, you'd be targeting institutional investors, but is there an opportunity for those retail investors to get in? Yes, there is an opportunity for the retail investors to, to, to get in, and I think we, we, we have been pleasantly surprised by the, the degree of interest um, in the floating of the, of the SIM share. Uh, the, it has not been an IPO. Um, in fact, there was a, a, um, an issue of, of shares in specie um, to, to shareholders of Rogers. So effectively, we have had, uh, we've got existing shareholders. A lot of the institutions that were invested in, in Rogers um, have maintained a, 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 um, an interest in SIM. Um, and we understand that so far, Trading on the on the stock exchange of Mauritius has been very healthy. We put a initially a very small float of some shares out. It was 5,000 shares, but my understanding is that uh, more than 360,000 shares um, have traded during the course of the day. You have uh, two offices uh, set up here in uh, South Africa. What is your strategy in terms of accessing other African markets? We see Mauritius as being really a doorstep to Africa. It, it, it's uniquely situated geographically in the crossroads between Africa, Asia, and Europe, well situated in terms of, of time zones for all of those, those continents. And historically, Mauritius has been used as a springboard for investment into India in excess of 40% of foreign direct investment into India uh, has flowed through um, Mauritius. We see no reason why that shouldn't also be the case uh, into Africa. Uh, Africa is becoming more and more prominent um, in terms of investment philosophies uh, as more established markets are, are seen as being in retreat during the, the current financial um, scenario. And we see more and more investment and interest in investment into Africa and significantly more of it taking place out of Mauritius. Um, so for, from a, a global business perspective, which is our management company, um, very much uh, focused on Africa. And then equally for our, our retail financial services where we have developed um, some very strong methodologies and, and processes over the last 25 years. Um, we see that there are opportunities to export um, some, of our, some of our businesses into African geographies, uh, most probably in partnership with, with existing businesses in Africa. And uh, what is your vision for SIM for the next uh, three, perhaps uh, five years as well? Absolutely. We, we can't lose sight of the, of, the, of the global financial crisis. But I think that SIM sits in a, in a, in a very unique position in a, on an island that is uniquely geographically situated. And that so far, Mauritius has managed to weather the, the, the economic crisis reasonably well. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean that that, that will continue um, uninterrupted. But from SIM's perspective, we see the, the economic crisis uh, as being an opportunity for us to do 
some reviewing of our businesses to ensure that we that we are adequately structured for the future and it also presents some opportunities for us to to extend our reach so you know what we have done recently is we've extended our management companies we've set up a subsidiary in singapore uh, we are looking at, at extending into the bahamas before the, the the end of this year